Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be playing through this story event Odin Tamadra farming thing because we need to clear this multiple times, get multiple of each color Tamadra in order to unlock various perks, benefits, and rewards. So, for myself, there are many, there are so many different ways to play this dungeon, but I want to showcase a new card that I actually rolled of Shivnia. And basically, once transformed, all I need to do is match a row of dark, and I do large amounts of damage. I have many dark rows because I have a bunch of Chuan inherits. Personal damage from the leaders is high. I have God and Dragon Killer, which is actually quite helpful in this event. So, the one card that stands out, so to speak, is Mitsunari because they look weird, but it's because they have haste. And I need that haste to actually recycle back up the base active skill of my leaders because they'll be reset back to zero after they transform. So this dungeon can be done quite quickly. I'm using the No Skyfall badge to go faster. I've probably spent almost more time talking now than I would have playing the dungeon. But without further ado, let us transform. Transform. I'm gonna use Nergigante then Orphan to get a bunch of orbs. I was trying to save Dark Orbs. That's okay. I have so many anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I have lots of orb changers, and I'm gonna use Mitsunari now for a couple reasons. One, I need the haste. Two, I don't really have the Dark Orbs anyways, and I need to use them at some point. And even if I match hard orbs, which might be the case after I use his active, it's all right. Because I can just cut my health again of Orphan. So I pop Orphan in a moment. I'm going to get preemptively hit, but Orphan kind of solves that issue as well. So I know I have enough health to tank the next preemptive on the next floor, so it's okay. And now I can just pop my leaders and I'm good to go. That's okay, that guy getting bound is not even important. And I'll just swipe, extra combos. That's a lot of damage. And I'm using like my Lucifer friend, well my Lucifer is also getting god killer as well. I need to make a VDP here and I kill it. Easy peasy. Alrighty. Let's take a look. Good enough. And we're done! Pretty fun leader, I feel, for farming these types of content, like where you can predictably know when spawns are going to appear, that sort of idea. I know Mitsunari, well, Mitsunari's off color, but Orphan is off typing, but at the same time, that's okay, like I have so much damage from my leaders and technically Lucifer's god killers are pumping out. There are so many rows on this team, it's quite easy and efficient to play this because we have to play this so many times and now I have a team that can do so. Let's just take a look to see actually how long that took. User info, play history, completion history, that took a minute 47, the previous one I was testing it out took a minute 47, yeah basically it seems to be a minute and 47 seconds all the time, at least for my two runs I've done. So. Hopefully this video provides you with some inspiration as to what you can do for this dungeon. Remember, this is an easy dungeon, and being able to play it fast and quickly can be nice because we have to play this at least a minimum of 21 times. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures, and happy puzzling.